This here is Realme's first robot vacuum cleaner from them. It's called the Tech Life Robot Vacuum. We have your typical robot vacuum with two side sweeper brushes, the main brush on the bottom of it, 360 degree front wheel. It has a huge array of sensors. In fact, it does have 38 sensors in total with this one and LiDAR laser mapping here on the top. So the runtime of this one is up to 300 minutes. It has 3000 PA maximum suction performance and you can buy this right here for it, which is an optional accessory, the mopping kit. So yes, it can also vacuum and mop your floors. So in this in-depth review, I'll be going over the build quality, the design, the features, the application, as well as my experience in using it for a week, how it cleans and the pros and cons of the Tech Life robot vacuum here from Realme. We've got our filter right here in the side. Here is the charging dock. So that one of course uses infrared to get up to it close. There's the charging port contacts and the charger right there. So we'll get this out of the box and I'll go over the design of it so you know exactly what to expect here with Realme's first robot vacuum. Now looking at the top of the vacuum, you can see that we've got a power on button here, home button to take it back to charging. This right here is the 360 degree LiDAR laser mapping that it has. And it uses that with another bunch of sensors. In total, it's got 38 sensors altogether that it uses. Now with this particular model, the filter is accessible from behind here and the dustbin. So it's all in one compartment that you pull out. And you can see the dustbin on this one, it's larger than what I've seen on the others that I've reviewed in the channel with robot vacuums. This one has 600 milliliter capacity. To access the filter, you simply just need to lift that up and you can pull it out. Those are the washable components right there, so you'd wash that out. And then to empty it, you need to just press down here and that does open right up. Now I do like the fact that they've got this different filter level here as well. So it's got three levels of filtration. Now this one is very, very fine here. So a lot of that muck is just gonna sit on this and fall back down into this compartment here. So that's where you're going to be emptying it all out into your rubbish bin. On the front here, we have a side sensor. So this is detecting the distance between say the wall and the vacuum itself. Now there's rubber along the front here. So when it bumps into things, this is a slam sensor here at the front that we have on all robot vacuums that it shouldn't damage any furniture or anything like that. So this laser is used to get it nice and close to a wall. We have the side brushes that sweep things in towards that main brush there. And right up the front here, there is a sensor. So just in here, there's an infrared sensor. There's various different other sensors too. And here we do have a better look at the 360 degree laser. So this will be spinning around inside there, measuring the distance and mapping the surroundings. And this is the mopping kit that they also sent out for me for this review. So here we have a microfiber cloth and you get 10 disposable cloths there too if you want to use those instead of the microfiber one that of course is washable. So when you have a look at this, this is incorporating both the dustbin and then the water tank with this. Now the capacity of the water tank is 400 milliliters with this and it's just Velcro that holds the mopping cloth on the back of it. So that's just wiped along on the floor. It doesn't oscillate or anything like that. And you can see that the pump is part of this. It's right there. And there's the filters too. So just like the main one, it uses the same filter with it, but a reduced dustbin capacity, of course, because this is a combo one. So both mopping and vacuuming at the same time. So we've got the two main wheels here, good amount of tread on them and they're suspended, of course. So these go up and down, adjusting to the different floor levels in between say mats, carpets, then hard floors. The main brush right here, so it's using both a rubber sweeper and then the bristles there. This of course does eventually wear out and you do need to replace those. We've got the two charging contacts right here, 360 degree wheel at the front, which can be removed for cleaning, of course. And right here we have the two side brushes. Now to get access here to the main brush, if you do happen to get something stuck in there, there's these two little tabs there. So you pull on those, the main brush then comes out and that's how you replace it or you clean it if that does happen. Because eventually this will clog up with long hairs and you need to use that tool that they include to cut those hairs out and clean it. Now installing the mop function here, if you're gonna be doing that with well, its 300 milliliter capacity, you need to remove the dustbin there and then install the combo one, which just slots in like so clicks into place and of course you do need to fill that up with water. With the base of it, there's a good thing they've done here with the design that I don't often see and that is some cable management is built into it. So this, it just simply comes off. Okay, you remove that. There's our plug right there for powering this for the dock to charge it of course and you simply just need to plug this in right here 
And any excess cable to get it to your power point, you don't need all that, can simply just be stowed inside there. You can put the cover back on, of course, and the lead goes out the side, just there. And then you plug that in. So I only need a short length, so it's quite good that you can do this to hide that cable away. And this is the application which you don't have to use, it's called Realme Link. But I do recommend you do, of course, to get the absolute best out of this robot vacuum. So you just go into it, you add it, it needs to connect to your wireless, so yes, it will actually need your wireless password to pair up to it. 2.4 gigahertz is the band that it connects to. So you can see the map right there, the line is where the vacuum has been, and you've got all your different options along here. So you can spot clean, it's telling me it's recharging at the moment, area, your suction modes, and under more, there are a few options as well, you can see. So your schedule, you can schedule it to clean every day when you want it to do so. Do not disturb mode hours, remote control, if you need that. Um, it's kind of just a fun thing to play around with. And more, I find my kids like using that. Find the robot if it's under a bed or something, that is handy. Map management, so you can save various different maps and up to five uh, different maps with this particular one here. Customization mode, mopping path, auto boost, so that's when it goes over carpets, it will automatically increase then to the maximum 3000 PA suction power. Now under the volume and voice options, we've just got Chinese and English at the moment with this. So two English options and then Chinese. That's it so far at the time of this video. So hopefully more languages will be added later on. And under here, there are just a few different settings, tutorials, you can name the robot, firmware updates, and I am on the latest firmware update at the time of this video. So with the maps, you can add restricted areas, you can see restricted zones, virtual wall, you're able to do that all through the map here, which is quite accurate because it is using, of course, uh, the LiDAR mapping with this particular model. And then the cleaning performance, so it's a typical laser robot vacuum cleaner that it is quite quick to map out a room. It will go around the outside edges of that room first before then zigzagging up and down to get the full coverage of the room, clean every single part of the floor. It won't miss any area that it can get access to at least. So if there's of course a table leg in the way or chair legs in the way, then it won't be able to get in there and be able to clean there. So the performance of the hard floor cleaning I found to be very good, not a problem at all. When you take a look at the dustbin, the results do speak for themselves. It picks up a lot of muck, even though I'd only cleaned a few days before. It gets under beds, of course, and that's one of the positive things about these robot vacuums, that they do it all for you. It just maintains the house a lot cleaner before you have to maybe go around once every couple of weeks and do a big clean there. So the performance of carpets, I would rate as average with this one here because mainly to do with the design of the main brush. Now a lot of other brands will have the main brush suspended. It will give it about then a centimeter of travel to go up and down, adjust to the various different levels of mats and carpets, where this one cannot. So I have noticed that it will sometimes bounce around a little bit when going over carpets, not giving 100% contact with the mat or the carpet itself there. And that's why it's not a thorough clean when it does that. Now it auto detects carpets and will increase the suction power to the maximum, which is the 3000 PA. And here's a sample of just how loud it sounds, first on the standard mode, then on the maximum mode. And then if you put it on an area clean or a spot clean, the good thing about it, it will zigzag in one direction and then go over and zigzag in the other. So if you do that on mats or carpets, it then does a much better job and picks up absolutely everything. I did a little test here, put down some crushed up cornflakes and it did manage to suck up everything even though this mat here in particular is quite bad for robot vacuums because it has a slightly different levels to do with the pattern on it and it handled that okay. And then we have the mopping mode. So this one is a combined dustbin and water. So 300 milliliters for the water, 350 for the dust. And you simply just need to pull it out and swap it over. Fill this up with water, of course. Once you click it in, it knows it's in the mop mode. It detects it. Water tanks in position. Water tanks in position. So that voice feedback's only in Chinese and English at the time of this video. I do hope that Realme adds more language support and then you can mop the floors with it. So what it does is just drag the microfiber cloth or the removable, disposable, sorry, cloth behind it, 
and give you a very light clean. And when you look at the microfiber cloth, you can see that the results do speak for itself again, that yes, it is picking up muck there, but it's not gonna be the same as you going around giving your floors a manual proper mop, but you'd do it less with this is going to maintain the floor a little bit cleaner with the mopping mode. So it's okay, it's like other robot vacuums. It's not an oscillating brush or mop that's scrubbing your floors, it's simply just wiping them. So, all up, the things I like about this, 300 minute runtime, up to 3000 PA suction performance. It does a very good job of hard floors. The mapping is fast, it's accurate, and the application is really easy to use to set up your zones, area cleans, no-go zone, and the virtual boundaries. It can save up to five different maps, which is great, and it can zone it into rooms, which is another positive thing there. The filtration levels that it has, so three different levels with the filter. I like the plastic first mesh layer that stops a lot of debris reaching the filters. It maintains it a little bit cleaner, that's good. And very good filtration level with that washable filter that we do get from them. The other thing is with the carpet mode, as I mentioned, I would rate that as being average, okay? It tends to bounce up and down a little bit, as I mentioned before, so that's not its strength carpets and thick carpets, especially in different mats. It may struggle a little bit with that. You would probably have to put it on again if you've got a very thick mat to go over that. At least it can go over the thicker carpets because I've reviewed some robot vacuums that just get stuck on them and tend to bog down completely, go really, really slow and just almost go nowhere. At least that does not happen. So for a first attempt from Realme, their first robot vacuum cleaner, I think it's a good one and it does sell for a decent price too as well, 379 euros. Thank you so much for watching this review and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.